He's trying to swag a lava hound, dude. <laughs> Bro, pace into the last single, and this man's actually swagged a lava hound. It's still in his army camps. He drops it from 10 o'clock for cleanup. Let's go. <laughs> the cleanup lava hound. Oh, Klaus, you absolute animal. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next Queen Walker Stephanie matchup in the GCC tournament versus NJ Flex today. And let's see who's going to be victorious. We got Gaku going in with the first attack. Bringing us a little Queen Charge Dragon Rider action here. We start with that Queen on the top side. We got five Lightning Spells and an Earthquake here to utilize. Do we want her to walk up and into the Town Hall compartment? It looks like it. And then I'm guessing he'll be zapping that single target Inferno Tower with the Warden Statue, with the Builder Hut. Okie dokie. Nice Coco Loon finds a Seeking Air Mine. Queen gonna make her way on inside. Looking decent thus far. Down goes the Mortar. We rage up the Queen. Wait, zap. He gets through the Town Hall quickly so the healers don't take too much damage. Now she's working on some Air Skellies. We freeze the Headhunters. She snipes those without getting hit. Perfect. She's still barely outside that Giga Poison. Just by half a tile. Oh wow, she dodged that Giga Poison like a boss. Queen gets the Expo. She's going to keep stepping right. He has the Flame Flinger on the south side of the base trying to go toward the Eagle Artillery. Lava Hound coming out of the CC now to take her two to three business days, but eventually she'll get through it. And we're gonna go with Dragon Riders from the left, okay. Okay. Warden, Royal Champion with the Riders. He still has King to use as well. Being very patient with that King deployment. Headhunters are going in for the enemy Queen. Gonna be able to help take her out. Archer Queen on the top side, about to fight the enemy Royal Champion. We send King on the right to help the Queen. Pop Queen ability. Okay, we still have a Yeti to use. There's a Tesla farm on the right. Wizard with the Yeti over there to help funnel the King in toward the scatter shot. Dragon Riders are starting to thin out, but we still have Flame Flinger troops. Royal Champion is still alive. She's making her way in toward the core multi. Queen going for that scatter shot. Hello, Double Skelly. King can help her take the scatter out quickly. Yes, down it goes. We raise the Royal Champion, the Warden, the Rider on the south side. We got another Rider coming out of the CC, but we don't even need it. It's for cleanup. Down go all the defenses. Plenty of time to get the last building in the middle. Two swag spells and a wrecked base. Gaku able to get it done here and kick things off in this match. T-Rex is in with the first attack for NJ Flex. Okay. Coming in with a little Hydra action. We got the Lava Hound. Battle Bloom. Dragon Rider from the top side of the base. Invisibility spell. Rage spell. Town Hall. Did we get the Blizz? Did we get the Town Hall with the Blizz? Still not going for it. He's out of invisibility spells. The rage expires. Bro. RIP T-Rex! Ugh! He needed, oh gosh, another invis. He needed like two more invis. Yikes. Town Hall is getting repaired. And he's just gonna send it, bro. He's like, eh, YOLO. Maybe one of these dragons will target the town hall. Queen and king on the left side to walk down. Here we go. We're gonna pop this. He does not get any dragons to go toward that town hall section. This feels so awkward. He pops for an ability. Okay, he might get some dragons going up there. That's his last rage, though. Got a heal, and he uses it right there. He does get the Inferno Baby going for the Town Hall. He should be able to get it. Down goes the Town Hall. Now, how much percent can he recover? The Hound came out of the CC. He has to pop that. Oof. We need able to get through these pups. 
get through the expo. This is gonna be a low percent, man. It's gonna be a low percent. We pop that queen ability. We send Royal Champion from the south side of the base. He gets stuck on the king right away. We don't have to. Do, oh, we do have a headhunter to help. Nice. Two freezes still. But hello, Skelly Trap. RC pops her ability. We freeze the expo. He's not going to get much more, though. But at least we get to watch archers on the south side of the base for like 30 seconds. Ah, oh, dude, I'm not going to watch them for 30 seconds. RC steps up for the scatter. She's going to die there. And I think he's got enough time to get the Nat 69, bro. This is going to be a four star attack. Oh. Oh, he ends it manually? Bro! Yeah. He had like 28 seconds left. He could have gotten the 69. What the? Stars is in with the next attack for Queen Walker Stephanie. Bringing us some Lalo, his favorite attack style. He's going in with a blizz. The town hall. Mm hmm. We land on the Archer Tower. It is indeed going to be a blizz. He's going for the expo, going for the town hall, going for the CC pool, and he should hopefully be able to kill the Royal Champion too. Maybe. Dude, is there only one super? <laughs> Ah, bro, <laughs> rip stars. Neither team can do a blizz today. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. <sighs> Queen gonna fight these archers. That's not even the full CC pool. Inky Goblin to help funnel a little bit. We're gonna just try to send Queen into the town hall. Oh, boy. There's King on the bottom side. Wizard for the air defense. I'm not even sure if Queen walks in or not, dude. The farm way down there. Okay, she should walk in. Smart Queen. Royal Champion. King ability will take out the enemy Queen. We got a free spell to help. Queen ability goes off. Gets the town hall. There's going to be some more CC troops, though. Soon. There they are. Lots of archers. Drop your poison. Use your invis. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, watch him still make this work, I swear. I swear, dude. Stars is gonna find a way. This is still gonna work. RC still has her ability. Dude, I swear, if she gets that multi. Lalo's coming in from the top side, but watch this RC still get the multi. Oh, it's so close. One shot, two shot. She does. He's gonna triple. More Lalo from the left. We freeze the top side multi. The eagle's still up, doing a lot of damage. We still got two more spells. We're gonna freeze that multi again. We're gonna haste. And... <laughs> Bro, he still gets it. No way. He might time fail, but he still crushed the base in my heart. Does he have the time? We got minions on the top side. Pups on the left are distracted by the king. Only 16 seconds to go. I think it is a time fail. Oh my gosh. What an absolute animal this guy is. He just swags his entire blizz and still turns it into a time fail. Wow. Impressive stuff from Stars, even though it's a defense at 92%. Pepito is in. <laughs> nice name. With some Queen Charge Dragon Rider action. Early battle blip. Take out the Warden Tower. Take out the Multi. It's a Yeti Bomb with a Rage. Get the CC pool. Head under going straight for the Queen. Takes out the Headhunter, beautiful. Coco Loon finds a Seeking Air Mine. Queen can fight the Lava Dog. It'll take her some time, but she'll get through it. Battle Blimp got some decent value. We got the Poison Spell in. Seeking Goblins to help funnel over at 10 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock. 
Down go the lava pops. Queen will walk to the left. Okie dokie. Gonna have to fight the king eventually here, but we do have Headhunter to help support. That also is gonna take a little bit of time. This charge is taking quite some time to set up. But if we get her all the way to the town hall, it'll be looking good. There goes King at 9 o'clock to help funnel her. Where's the next wall break gonna go? It might take an interesting path. Does she go right for the Builder Hood or left for the Wizard Tower? I'm not sure. She goes left. Oh, these wall breakers do not want to help. Where are you going, sir? What the cap? Queen's kind of smart, though. She'll at least go inside toward the scatter shots in the town hall. If King can take out the multi, he's still looking good. Come on, King. Get that multi. Get that multi. Get that multi. Oh, it's going to be close. He rages the queen again. Ooh, King gets the multi. Dragon Riders on the top side. Queen going for the town hall. Dragon Riders will get through the eagle. Royal Champion is there to help assist them. We do have more rages. We can keep on raging the queen. Keep her alive. Okay. Down goes the Builder Hut. 56 seconds. We invis the Queen. Scattershot locks onto his healers, though. The invis was not perfect. Down goes the Scatter. We still got a lot of Dragon Riders alive. This is either correct or somehow a time fill. I think he has time for cleanup. Already has a minion on the bottom. Queen's still alive. She's going to be helping with cleanup. RC still has her ability. She should live forever. We got a free spell in the bag. All the healers go down. 33 seconds. He's looking decent here. Come on, RC. Come on, Queen. Go, go, go. That has got to be the stupidest sneaky goblin I've ever seen. Literally, the wall's open. What the? Bro, he might time fail because of that sneaky. No, he still has RC shield. Boom. Down go both the buildings. That's a three star for Pepito. And just like that. NJ Flex, tie it up. Kazuma is in with Queen Charge. Super Dragons? What the? Bro, homie forgot that Super Dragons got nerfed. Queen over on the right side. Flame Flinger is in as well. Okay. Queen will fight the enemy king. Got a Headhunter. A little Tesla farm down there. I think he wants Queen to go walk into the channel, but the Tesla farm might make things a little interesting. We raise the Queen, she's taking a lot of damage. Might not go in. Or does she? Yeah, he's gonna use the invis to make sure she goes in. Alright, cool. What next? Flame Flinger takes out the Eagle. Need King? Do we need RC on the south side? What do we need there? We ain't gonna end up fighting CC troops soon. Just a partial pull so far. Ooh, rocket blitz! Oh! Let's go! She's okay! It's a lot of damage. Oh, here we go with the Super Dargons. It's basically a Queen Charge Hydra, but instead of Hydra, he's using Super Drags. Queen is low. We're going to pop her ability. Flame Flinger trying to get that multi on the right. I think he should have sent the Super Drags a few seconds earlier because now the healers are going to get hit by that multi. We need to Invis Queen. Invis Queen or freeze. Oh, scoop sky. <laughs> oh! She low, low. Bye bye, healers. Bye bye, Queen. We freeze the town hall. It's feeling sketchy. We need somebody to go target that town hall, please. Valkyrie's in a CC with a Super Barbarian. Yo, what the? Bro Champion with them. LOL Rage. Oh, she's hiding behind a wall. RC will take her out. There's a chance this still works. We got a Freeze. We got the Royal Champ ability. There's the King ability. Freeze. Bro, it's a three star. Lol. 
Nicely done from Kazuma with the Queen Charge Super Dragons. It's gonna work. I mean, okay. Awesome attack from him, GG's. NJ Flex. Coming in with their next attack. We start with Queen on the left side. It'll be Queen Charge Lalo here. We want her to skip the Town Hall. Oh, we've seen this plan before. I think somebody did this to Gaku's base yesterday. He's gonna log launch her from 9 o'clock to take out the single. Get a partial CC pull, a bunch of archers thus far. Well, that one archer might pull Queen the wrong way. Nope, she goes back up. Yeah, he's gonna do the log launcher from 9 o'clock. We've already seen this exact plan. Gaku rerunning the base. Because they've been playing like 10 matches in the last two days. Healers are getting hit, so we're gonna go with a freeze. Log launcher is in. Did he not bring the quake though? Didn't last time? I think somebody used a quake. Is the quake needed? Tornado trap hit the log launcher and spun it around a little bit. Yeah, see the walls don't open up without the quake. Ooh, that might be a misplay. So the quake last time was needed. Awkward. We got King to go inside this wall gap. Royal Champion to help out. Queen stuck on the Lava Hound. King gonna make his way toward the Royal Champion. And we start the Lalo from the bottom side of the base with the Warden. We got the Ice Hound. Queen taking a lot of damage. We rage more balloons from the right side. Ice Hound's gonna freeze the enemy queen. Royal Champion still has her ability. She's gonna be able to clear a lot of the stuff in the core here. Queen going for the expo. We pop the invis spell. They did get through that one wall pretty easily. I think Queen one shot the wall. We got through the enemy queen. Do we have enough to get through the rest of the defenses? There's our last freeze. That was a nice freeze. Hit the expo and the air defense. Dude, that was a clutch freeze. Down goes the Expo, down goes the Air Defense, and I think he's going to get it. Queen back up to full health. All right. It's going to squeak by. He's got enough time for cleanup. That Royal Champion staying alive on one HP. Down go the next few buildings, and we are still all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. It is eight stars to eight. Klaus is in with one healer. One bat spell, one skeleton. What is he doing? Early skelly belly jelly donut. Okay. Going for two inferno tap. Wait, he didn't go for the lower inferno, did he? No. Oh, did he still get it? Ooh, if he invested one more invis, he would have gotten it. That's okay. I think he got what he wanted. Now, King and Ice Golem going into the scatter shot at three. Queen gonna walk down toward the town hall, and we got one healer and the unicorn to help support her. And a, what, what in the wall record? A wall wrecker to snipe the army camp. Oh, well, I think his plan is for that wall wrecker to take out the single, but it's still interesting. Might need one freeze here to help. Oh, he goes with the invis instead. Or was that queen about to skip the town hall compartment? Oh, this is about to get awkward. She should go back in at the bottom side. Yeti's gonna take out the expo. Did they get the single as well? Uh. Nah. Rip. So that entire wall wrecker, the siege machine and the CC troops got one expo. I don't think that was worth it. We got Lalo coming in from the top side. Oh dude, his royal champion and king got all the way up to the eagle. Wow. We pop warden ability at 10 o'clock. Lalo slowly getting through the multi. We freeze on the top side. Headhunters for the enemy queen took her out. Freeze for the scatter shot. Down goes the multi at 10. I think he's still going to make it work. He's he's trying to swag a lava hound, dude. <laughs> Bruh.
bro. Pace into the last single, and this man's actually swagged a lava hound. It's still in his army camps. He drops it from 10 o'clock for cleanup. Let's go. <laughs> the cleanup lava hound. Oh, Klaus. Ooh, absolute animal. What a god. 30 seconds to spare. Down goes the barracks and another three star for Queen Walkers. NJ Flex are in with their next attack. Pressure right back on them. They got a triple. Keep things tied up. Let's see if they can do it. Being on the top side on this Lalo attack. We got a Golem. We got a Log Launcher. There goes the Log Launcher. There goes the Queen on the right side to funnel King in. Log Launcher helping to take out those Skeleton Traps. Skeleton Spell on offense to help distract the King and some of these Expos. We're going to funnel the Cannon on the right. We want Queen to go in toward the Scatter Shot. We got a Golem to help support her. We do have two Wall Breakers. That first Wall Breaker is tanked for though, so it's going to make it all the way to that multi. The King's going to go join forces with the Queen. Log Launcher gets targeted. Oh, this is getting a little wonky. Bro, Champion in at 3 o'clock. Which way do the Yetis go, bro? They might not take out... They might not get either Inferno. Ooh. Yeah, dude, they are not getting either Inferno. This is awkward now. RC, King, the Queen's following them. She's not even going to path into that core multi. At least not for a while. We're going to rage up the Unicorn with the Queen. Raise the single. Queen goes back around the middle, okay? We're going to Lalo into the Town Hall. Queen will take out the multi. Hopefully, Queen can take out the Royal Champion before she gets distracted. Nope. If he popped Queen ability, some of the archers could have pulled the Royal Champion, but instead he goes with the Invis on the Queen. We send some Headhunters, we send an Ice Hound, we Rage, we pop Warden ability. Down goes the enemy Royal Champion. Down goes the Town Hall. Hello, Tornado Trap. Oh, that was in the perfect spot. A lot of the balloons dodge it, though. We freeze the Scatter, Ice Hound flying across the map. Queen beats through a wall. We haste over on at 8 o'clock. We got one more haste. We're going to use it to get into the scatter shot as quickly as possible. Multi on the back end is going to be the biggest threat at this point. As we did kill the Archer Queen on defense. He's got a lot of balloons. Two balloons go toward the Inferno Tower. They're going to pull all the traps. Ooh, there's red bombs on the outside. I think he gets it. He's got so many balloons. So many balloons. 40 seconds on the clock. He's already got all the cleanup at 9 o'clock. Pretty much done. The Warden might die here, but the Balloons will finish off the Inferno Tower. <sighs> Woo, barely, but they get it. A three star is a three star. That's a triple, and we are still all tied up going into the last round of attacks. Uta14 is in with the final attack for Queen Walker, Stephanie. Coming in with a little Queen Charge Dragons with two Rocket Balloons and 15 Normal Balloons. Early Bat Spell. Gonna try to blimp the town hall, I bet. He's also got Queen at 12 o'clock already. That sweeper's being annoying, but the blimp should be able to get in toward the town hall. Queen walking left. He's trying to funnel the archer tower at 9, but Teslas are popping. Battle blimp gets to the town hall. No tornado trap to stop him. Rocket balloons at 9 o'clock. Down goes the air defense. Sneaky goblins take out the town hall. He's wall breaking the queen into the eagle. He's multitasking like a boss. Now it's currently 11 to 11. Queen Walkers are in the lead on percent by a lot. But Uta14 needs a triple to guarantee the victory. Even a 99% and NJ Flex can steal the victory with their last attack. We raise the Queen. She gets to the enemy King with the help of a Headhunter. We're going to send all the dragons from the left side of the base it looks like. Here we go. Nice, simple, straightforward plan. Just Queen into the Eagle. Send the dragons from 9 o'clock. King on the outside to Funnel and YOLO the rest. Early as heck, Warden ability. <clears throat> Still got a Royal Champion to use. King wraps back inside. I don't, don't think that was part of the plan. But with the wall gaps at 8 o'clock, he can still go back outside. Super minion CC, we drop the poison. Freeze, a headhunter that went to the queen. There goes our Royal Champion at 7 o'clock. Goblins coming out of the CC. The dragons are peeling off toward the bottom side. Nobody's going for that multi on the left. Queen gonna end up fighting the enemy Royal Champion soon. We freeze that Inferno Tower with the Builder Hut. Uh, is it gonna be enough? It's looking questionable. 
The Warden's taking a lot of damage from the multi. The Warden's gonna die to the multi. We raged the Queen, even though she was at full health. Ooh, this is getting sketchy. We got RC ability though, it might be enough with these spells. We invis the RC. The King, the Dragons, they're about to die, but Queen and RC can finish the base? There goes RC shield. Queen gets distracted. We got two freezes. We freeze the expo. 45 seconds. He's got an archer on the top side. RC still alive. We freeze the expo and the cannon again. Pop queen ability just to help speed things up. Gets through the bomb tower. RC gets the expo. Queen gets the cannon. All defenses are dead. It's a three star for Yuta 14 and queen walkers will win the match. NJ Nightmare in with the final attack of the match. More Queen Charge hybrid here. We start with Queen on the right side of the base. Balloons will take out the cannon. Queen with the wall break will have access to the Eagle Artillery. You're gonna fight the enemy king. We're gonna need a headhunter and a rage. Nicely done. Baby Dragon to try and help funnel some buildings up at 2 o'clock. Are we going to Hydra from the top side or from the bottom side? My guess is the top side so we can dodge the sweepers. But we'll see what he does. Wall break will give Queen access to that lower multi. That's a nice wall break. And the other one gives her access to the scatter shot. Jeez! All right, those are some OP wall breaks, but we're going to use Royal Champion down there anyway. Why? Queen could have walked down and got all that stuff. Oh, well. Here we go with the Hydra from the top side. The poison spell for the Headhunter is late. Poison, poison, poison. There we go. Rage, poison. Queen will be okay. King on the outside to funnel the Hydra in at 12 o'clock. RC is fighting the enemy RC. She's going to go down. We rage the Hydra. We still got to get that Town Hall, so we're going to send the Battle Blimp for it. Get ready to pop a Juicy Warden ability. There we go. Everybody invincible for now. Queen will get the Scatter. She'll end up fighting the enemy Royal Champion. Do we invest a spell? My, oh no, that Headhunter in the Warden ability helped shoot the enemy Royal Champion a little bit. That's nice. Yeti Bomb takes out the Town Hall. Most of the Dragons went to the core. The King's already dead, but we still got the Yak beating through walls. LOL. We freeze the single. Rage the Dragons again. There's the Tornado Trap. Everybody doing the Disco Dance as we try and finish off the base. We got 54 seconds to go. Queen has access to everything as all these walls are open. We got Archers on the right. 46 seconds. Healers on the Queen are getting targeted by the Air Defense. Dragons peeling off toward the left side. Come on. Go, go, go. It's just a race against the clock. Time fail or a triple? I think he's got plenty of time. Queen gets all the buildings at 6. She's going back up. 30 seconds. We got two spells that we really don't even need. We got Queen Ability still intact. 24 seconds. He's got it. That's a 3 star for NJ Flex. Man. That is indeed a heartbreaker for NJ Flex. They did so well today. Only one fail in this matchup. This one he swags two spells. But against a team like Queen Walkers, one fail is all it takes to lose. Nice try to NJ Flex, but it's going to be a victory for Queen Walkers today. 14 to 14, 98.4%. 93.6.